Good morning. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Uh, welcome everyone to lovely Silver Spring. This, this is the uh, nicest time of the year to be in Washington, and, and I think uh, we'll have some decent weather, so that's great. Um, I'm Terry Manolio. I uh, uh, lead the Division of Genomic Medicine at NHGRI, and would uh, just mention this is the 10th in a series of genomic medicine meetings that the people sort of sitting around me have, have helped to plan. Uh, we have a genomic medicine working group that is advisory to our uh, advisory council. Um, it's a working group, actually, of our advisory council, and so from Carol on to Mark, um, including um, uh, Eric and Laura Rodriguez, who will be here shortly. Yeah, yeah. And there are a few that are uh, a few that are down for the count, but they'll be they'll be back shortly. So, um, this meeting we wanted to focus on uh, implementation of pharmacogenomics and research to facilitate that implementation. Uh, we would emphasize that that this is not um, a, a meeting to talk about more discovery of pharmacogenomic uh, variants, even though that's important and stuff that needs to be done. It's not a meeting to talk about developing new drugs or functionalizing variants or those things. It's really to take established knowledge and implement it in care. Uh, you all received um, a series of papers uh, uh, in the mailing, the background mailings that I hope you've taken a look at. Uh, there's one quote in there that I, that I just can't resist reading um, from the lady to my left here and uh, Bill Evans, quote, our enthusiasm for advancing molecular technology and defining the human genome has not yet been matched by a willingness to incorporate this technology and knowledge into well-controlled and monitored clinical trials. And I would add uh, care, for the, uh, care for the patient. So um, something that we really need to, uh, to keep in mind as we go forward. Uh, what I'd like to do this morning um, uh, before we get started is just to, to do introductions of everybody in the room because one of the, the things we do at these meetings is to try to encourage everybody to um, uh, interact and, uh, and hopefully develop collaborations or sharing or, or that of, of information and, and techniques. So. Um, with that, I think the only other announcements I need to make are that uh, Teji Rakra Burris at the end of the um, uh, um, row here is, uh, is taking your um, talks, and so if you haven't given your talks to her, please do so really soon. Uh, remember that all of this is being videotaped, so be careful what you say. Um, and, and we do post these, uh, these webcasts, it's live webcast, and, and then we will post it as an archive, and we do get a, a fair number of views after the fact. Um, the restrooms are down the hall, food is behind us. Uh, lunch will be served there, and just before lunch, we'd like to gather. There's a very nice patio out here, and we'd like to gather for uh, a photo um, of the of the group. And our colleague Ernesto will be taking um, um, pictures, live action shots, as it were, uh, as uh, as we go through. Um, Teji has some very handy but annoying little signs that will tell the speakers. Um, there's there's one, five, two, and one minute, um, and then uh, yeah. So, uh, so please do try to stick to time so that we, uh, we maintain um, uh, discussion time. So with that, uh, as I said, I'm Terry Manolio. Um, I lead the Division of Genomic Medicine at the National Human Genome Research Institute. Uh, Mary Relling, Chair of the Pharmaceutical Department at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. Simona Volpi in HGRI. I'm a Program Director in the, genomic, the Division of Genomic Medicine with Terry Manolio. Uh, Dan Roden at Vanderbilt and a member of this advisory group. Howard McLeod uh, at Moffitt Cancer Center. Dan and I are not sharing a seat. We're just sitting really close together. <laughs> I'm on Howard's lap. <laughs> Uh, Pat Deverka, a principal researcher at the American Institutes for Research and a member of this committee as well. Hi, I'm Carol Bolt uh, from the Jackson Lab, and I'm also on the Genomic Medicine Working Group. Heidi Rehm from Harvard Medical School and the Broad Institute, and a PI of ClinGen. Hi, I'm Marilyn Ritchie. I'm Director of Biomedical and Translational Informatics at Geisinger Health System. Hi, I'm Laura Rasmussen Torbeck. I'm in the Preventive Medicine Department at Northwestern University. Steve Leader, the uh, Division of Clinical Pharmacology, Toxicology, and Therapeutic Innovation at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City. Laurie Cavallari, I'm Associate Director of the Personalized Medicine Program at University of Florida. Kristen Weitzel, also an Associate Director of the Personalized Medicine Program at the University of Florida. Hi, I'm Julie Johnson. I'm Director of the Personalized Medicine Program at UF and um, also PI of one of the IGNITE projects funded um, that's focused in pharmacogenomics. I'm Peter O'Donnell at the University of Chicago, and I'm the uh, Associate Director of our Center for Personalized Therapeutics. 
Uli Brokel from the Medical College of Wisconsin, and I'm working with Mary on uh, railing on her Peach and for Kids project, which we're doing preemptive genotyping for a long time. T.G. Rockrobar, Duke University. Um, Mel Picasapi, I'm a program analyst in the Division of Genomic Medicine at NSGRI. Good morning. My name is John Wilson. I'm the Chief Medical Information Officer at a company called Optum, which is the Services Division of United Health Group. Um, I'm leading the genomics effort at Optum. Uh, Dick Winchelbaum from the Mayo Clinic, and I, I lead our pharmacogenomics program in the Center for Individualized Medicine. I'm Manoli Pereira, the Department of Pharmacology at Northwestern, and I'm the PI for Account, which is one of the Precision Medicine uh, Center grants. I'm Todd Score from Indiana University, the Division of Clinical Pharmacology, and I'm one of the PIs of our uh, one of the uh, Ignite Network sites. I'm Josh Denny from Vanderbilt uh, Medicine and Informatics, and like Todd, also serves one of the PIs of an Ignite project. Hi, I'm Lynn Dressler. I'm from Mission Health System in Asheville, North Carolina a community health system, and I'm director of the personalized medicine program there. I'm Paul Anderson, father of Angela, who died of toxic epidermal necrolysis. Mark Williams, director of the Genomic Medicine Institute, Geisinger Health System, member of the working group. Rex Chisholm, Northwestern University in Chicago, uh, also member of the working group and uh, PI of one of the emerged clinical sites. Uh, Jeff Ginsberg <clears throat> from Duke University, where I direct the Center for Applied Genomics and Precision Medicine, also a PI of an Ignite project that has nothing to do with pharmacogenetics. Eric Green, director of NHGRI. Jeff, could you? Oh, wait, wait which way are we going? I pointed that oh, way. You, you pointed, pointed that way. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> um, Sheena Faraday, I'm a science writer at NHGRI. Donna Messersmith, I'm with the Genomic Healthcare Branch, NHGRI. Bob Wilden, Chief of the Genomic Healthcare Branch at NHGRI. Vince Bonham, Senior Advisor to Dr. Green on Genomics and Health Disparities. Rebecca uh, Policy Office, NHGRI. Hi. Jeff. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Jeff Strewing from the Division of Genomic Medicine, NHGRI. One Pin Anderson, and the mother of Angela Anderson. She, uh, she died from the 10th uh, back in December 28, 2015. Mike Mikalkevich, a research scientist for our healthcare. I'm part of Ignite program with Vanderbilt. So we are introducing pharmacogenomics to community healthcare system. Murray Brilliant, uh, Marshfield Clinic uh, Research Institute. I direct our Center for Human Genetics and Personalized Medicine Research Project. Jyoti Dayal, uh, Program Officer, uh, Division of Genomic Medicine, NHGRI. Silva, Sylvia Garvey, Division of Genomic Medicine, NHGRI. Josiah Allen, Director of Medical Affairs at 1M, a pharmacogenomics company. Hi, Jenna Baker from NIDDK, and I manage a program called Illuminating the Druggable Genome. Great. Thank you all very much. Um, so I'd like to introduce one of my two co-chairs, Simona being the, the other, um, Mary Rowling, who will make some opening remarks.